Friends, this cataract is of medium density. Nuclear sclerosis is about grade 3. Pupil is mid dilated. The size of the pupil is approximately 4.5 millimeter. I've taken up this case for surgery. Main incision has been made. Now the capsule is being stained with tripan blue dye. Now this is adrenaline. I want to see if the pupil dilates little bit which will facilitate in doing capsulorexis. The pupil didn't dilate much but there was slight dilatation. The pupil became say about 5 millimeter after injecting adrenaline and this will help me a lot in capsular axis. So viscoelastic substance is injected and now I'm going to make the side ports. This is a MBR blade on the left side and this is a lens tip knife on the right side. The side ports are made simultaneously and now I'm going to do capsular axis. I'm going to incise the capsule with a bent cystitum 26 case needle and now I'm using a utrita forceps holding this capsular tag and going all around just along the border of the people and in some places it has gone beyond the margin of the people and here you can see the margin so this area I'll use for reference whether the lens is in the capsular bag or not this area will be used to confirm that hydro dissection is done very gently we must depress the nucleus and rotate the nucleus and now in this case since the people is people has again become small it is about about 4.5 millimeter or 4 millimeter is size and all. and when I will start Fecal emulsification, emulsification of the nuclear fragments, it will decrease further as you will see in a very short time. And now the tip of the FECO handpiece is introduced. This is Oatly Cataract 3 FECO machine. The tip is called Easy Tip and it is introduced into the anterior chamber. Now the exposed part of the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and this is vertical chop. I engage the chopper just in front of the FECO tip and chop it. This antero posterior division of nucleus is vertical chop. Now the fragments are brought at the center of the anterior chamber and it is at the center of the people actually and it is emulsified. This is the last nuclear fragment. FECO power used in this case is 60 percent. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. Now this cortical matter is to be removed. This is the pinucleus. It has come. Now I remove the FECO teeth. Inject some viscoelastic substance. The colleagues, this video is minimally edited so you are seeing most of these steps now this is a 23 gauze Simco cannula since the left side port is very small I cannot go through that side port so I'm using only the right side port to remove this lens matter And now this lens matter is not coming. 
I have to remove it through the main incision but I find that the antechamber is becoming shallow. So what I do is I inject some viscoelastic substance and then I introduce the Simcoe cannula and when there is viscoelastic substance the antechamber remains formed uh, for some time and during that time I remove the cortical matter. That's it. The cortex is removed and the posterior capsule is quite clear. It doesn't need polishing. So I'm inject I am injecting viscoelastic substance and see the people it has become again four point five millimeter or so. And now this is uh hydro fovic acrylic intraocular lens yes it has gone through a 2.8 millimeter incision and now the lens is dialed and the haptics go into the capsular bag and take shelter at the equatorial region of the capsular bag. That's it. It is nicely done. And now the viscoelastic substance is removed and the irrigating probe of bimanual IA is also used to remove the viscoelastic substance. This is Irrigation is much better with this in the continuous irrigation mode. And this is a sweep around the angle. And now these side ports are hydrated. Only the right side port needs hydration since I have not used the left side port for removal of cortical matter, it doesn't need any hydration. This is formation of entry chamber and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for watching.